Hi, this is Rich Harrington and I'm at Photoshop World and we're getting another instructor guest tip here for the Twitter feed and I am with, here with Kevin Ames who is a commercial photographer out of Atlanta, Georgia as well as a Photoshop World instructor and he has a new book from Peachbit. What's it called? It's called The Digital Photographer's Notebook, Rich. It's after uh, my column in Photoshop User Magazine of the same name. Cool. So he's got a technique here, uh, a strategy map on for when we're retouching photos, right? Right. Quite often we'll do a photograph and we'll have a lot of things we want to retouch and we'll forget to do something. This is a foolproof way to make sure you never forget a thing. And it helps prove to the client everything they need done and you can sign off on it before you do the work. Cool. Show us how it works. Great. I have a raw file here open in uh, Adobe Bridge. So I'm going to type Command or Control R if you're using Windows to uh, get it open in Camera Raw. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this as an object by clicking down here on the workflow op options and choosing Open in Photoshop as a smart object. And the benefit of that smart object is that it embeds the original file sort of inside of there. So yeah, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and uh, just, that's fine. You want to go to your actual file where it was? You're in Kevin there. We had it open. Yeah. Oh, I see. Go all to right. Kevin and open up your file. All right. Remember, this is live, everyone. There's no editing, so we get to see all the workflow. And here it comes. All right, so I'm going to open that object. I've already set camera, up, camera raw up the way I want it. And what this does is over here in the Layers palette, you're going to see the smart object appear. And what it is is it's an actual copy of the original raw file out of the camera as the base layer of Photoshop. And you know it's a smart object when you see that little icon that at little the bottom That little icon corner. right there indicates that it's a smart object. Okay. So to make the strategy map, I'm going to make a new layer, label it strategy map. Big fan of calling things what they are. <laughs> You've got to or you get messed up. Now, what I'm going to do is just go through this image at 100% section by section and circle everything that I want to fix. And the easy way to do this is to go up into the swatches, pick a heinous color, in this case green, and get the pencil tool. That's right here under the brush tool. The pencil tool is always hard, and I'm going to increase that brush size to about five pixels. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom into 100%. So that's Command Option 0 on the Mac, Control Option 0 on PC. What's yeah. really fun about this is on laptops, if you'll hold down the function key and press the uh, page, uh, the home button, which is the left arrow, it puts you right at the very top of the file. Wow. And this way you can go through it section by section. I'll show the navigator over here so you can see exactly where I am. This is the image we're seeing on the screen. So now holding down the function key on the laptop or just pressing the, the page down button, I can look through this. You're going quadrant by quadrant. Quadrant by quadrant and just make sure I don't miss anything. Notice right over here, I have an artifact from the camera. Yeah. This is one that I'll fix before I share it with the client. And this is awesome because you have to view this stuff at 100% or else you won't see the pixels. You're getting sampling. So by viewing at 100%, you're seeing every pixel and you can spot the mistakes right. or the, the flaws. Exactly right. And so I keep going through and there's some junk here on the, on the bar yeah. that you would never notice. But Until these, it was printed as a giant magazine cover or something. Yeah, and then, then you notice. <laughs> and, and then you're going, oh, yeah. shucks. <laughs> now, if you add the command key and press the page down again, it scoots over one frame. Okay. And then you can uh, page up, which is, uh, let's see, it would be function and the up arrow key. I'm used to doing this on a regular keyboard. Yeah, on a regular keyboard. keyboard, you've got those So keys. we're going to take that out. If you, I wish you guys could see him playing. It sort of looks like he's playing Tetris here. Yeah, it's kind of fun. And so I'm going to just go through, and then when I get to her face, I could be really serious about this. Now, obviously, when you're retouching someone that's a friend of yours, you'd never want to do this, because otherwise she'll come back and hurt you. Mm -hmm. But you get the idea, and I'd go through, and then I'd, I'd come in, and on the eyes, I'd want to brighten the eyes, yeah. take care of these wrinkles. And by the way, this is uh, Tanya from The Real Housewives of oh, Atlanta. Cool. And if people go up on the Bravo website, they can actually see a clip of me doing this shoot. Oh, cool. So I'll just go over and uh, do the last quadrant. We may be running out of time on our five-minute limit. So but that's all there is to it. Yeah, that's fantastic. And so let's go back to the original size. And there I've got everything I want to do on the strategy map. And I can turn it on and off. The beautiful thing about it is if you don't...